the gun auctioning website known as gunbroker.com that has begun selling Trayvon Martin gun range targets. So they're gun range targets that uh, depict Trayvon Martin, and we actually have a video that explains more detail into this story. Let's watch. There's no face inside the hoodie, but the bag of Skittles and the bottle of iced tea makes it clear this paper target designed for shooting practice is supposed to be Trayvon Martin. For just $8 plus $7.50 shipping, sharpshooters have been able to buy a 10-pack of the targets online. The sellers say they support Zimmerman and believe he is innocent and that he shot a thug. What do you think of that? This is the highest level of disgust. The seller would not disclose how many have been made, but says the response is overwhelming. I sold out in two days. Now, it, as if the image isn't uh, disgusting enough, there's also a, um, like a detailed uh, description of what it is and what the uh, shooting target is for. So it reads, uh, everyone knows the story of Zimmerman and Martin. Um, Obviously, we, we support Zimmerman and believe he is innocent and that he shot a thug. Each target is printed on thick, high-quality poster paper with a matte finish. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, this, this isn't about defending Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. This is about targeting a victim. I mean, it's, it's been established that this child, mm -hmm. this child did nothing illegal. He had no weapons on him. So regardless of whether or not they support Zimmerman's, you know, kind of thinking that he was acting in self, whatever the case may be, you can't hide under this kind of umbrella of, oh, well, I support Zimmerman. So I'm going to, I mean, this is just utter disgust. This is hate. It's basically demonizing the victim in this situation. And if you have your reservations about the whole uh, Trayvon Martin case and you think that there's a possibility that George Zimmerman did act in self-defense, you guys know clearly what my position is on that. We've talked about it several times on the show. I can understand that, right? Everyone has a different perception of what happened on that day, okay? And there are details that are sketchy and fuzzy. And now it's great that he's being tried and uh, justice will be served. Hopefully justice will be served. But in this in this case, you're demonizing a victim, a child who was shot to death, 17-year-old who was shot to death, who did not have any weapons on him. And what's incredible to me is the fact that it sold out in two days. I just really hope that he only made like 15 of them. <laughs> like he didn't disclose how many he made. So right. it's like the response was overwhelming. And the, I, look, uh... the person who is selling this knows what he's doing is wrong because he's an unidentified. He refuses to, uh, you know, reveal himself. So that shows that he's fully aware of what's going on here and how it's just unacceptable to do this.